Hi, Freya. How are you doing? I just wanted to message you about a question I had. What was your intention to do what you did at my mother's funeral today? I think it was a little crazy of you to do something like that, especially when someone just passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a little harsh what I did, but was that actually your mother's funeral? I thought that if a beautiful woman like me appeared in a wedding dress, then everyone would have had a big smile on their face. <laughs> Since your mother was so bitter when she was alive, wasn't she? <laughs> I just thought that I would bring some joy to the event. <laughs> I suppose you don't even realize what kind of terrible thing you've done. You've made a complete mockery out of my mother's funeral. What are you on about? Like you can talk, Stephanie. You're the one who did something terrible first. I just reciprocated. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about, Freya? I haven't done anything to you. I just think it's crazy that someone who was in such a lower class than me in middle and high school would be able to get married before I do. It doesn't make any sense. And then you had to go and ruin my family by marrying my older brother. Why did it have to be him? There were plenty of other men in our school. Now you're my sister-in-law and it's just ridiculous. You're the worst person on this planet for my brother and this family. What's brought all this on, Freya? What's your problem with me? Whenever I do anything or say anything, you always have something horrible to say back to me. So because of how you feel towards me, you go and do what you did at my mother's funeral to get back at me? Is that it? <laughs> because of how you feel towards me? <laughs> you're just the worst, Freya. You're incredibly annoying. I want you to get a divorce from my brother immediately. You don't deserve to be with him. He deserves someone who's beautiful and smart. Do you seriously think I'm going to do what you say? Do you want to see how I see this? It's been over 10 years since we graduated high school and we're adults now, but this is going too far. You need to move on, Freya. You're dragging everything up from how we were in high school and relating it back to then. This isn't high school anymore, Freya. Stop being so annoying. What? Excuse me? You think you can talk to me like that? Don't you dare talk back to me like that. You're so vindictive. I've apologized to you and you're still complaining about things I didn't mean to do. You're so scary, you know that? I'll tell my brother to scold you later about how you're treating me. I'm your sister-in-law and you can't treat me this way. Don't you get it? Your brother is also angry at you for wearing your wedding dress to my mother's funeral. Don't you understand what funeral attire is? Huh? <laughs> Why would he be angry at me for that? I'm his beautiful little sister. How can one get angry at a beautiful woman in a wedding dress? Seriously? <laughs> Don't you understand how crazy it is to show up in a wedding dress at a funeral? Are you mad? Uh, no. As a beautiful woman like myself is special and I can do what I want. There's no way my brother will stay angry at me for long. <laughs> You should be feeling grateful as I added flowers to such a bitter atmosphere. Don't twist this around on me. It's not my fault you ruined my mother's funeral. I have a different stance on this. Well, that's obvious now, isn't it? I'm allowed to wear whatever I want to whatever event is being held. I can see I'm not getting anywhere with this. Don't, don't even think about complaining about things when I get my revenge on you sometime. Do you really think you'll be able to perform a counterattack to what I did at your stupid mother's funeral? I would love to see you try. I don't care if you take it that way. I'm just warning you for the time being. Wow, I'm shaking in my little boots. <laughs> I guess I'll sit and wait patiently for your revenge plan to be put into practice. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. I just wanted to apologize about what happened today. It shouldn't have gone that way at all. How are you feeling right now? Are you okay? I really can't believe what happened today. I don't know what came over my sister. Oh, hello, Alex. Well, of course all of my extended relatives are extremely angry about what happened. I know that you went to your parents' house to protest about what Freya did, so I would like to see how it all unfolds. Oh, yes. They were super mad at the end of the funeral. Yeah, let's see how this all goes down. How are you doing? Have you been in touch with Freya about what she did? How do you feel about her wearing a wedding dress to the funeral? Yeah, what she did was really messed up. I don't know what her intentions are, to be honest. It was quite messed up, yes. I agree with you. I should have gone over to my parents' house immediately after it all and told them how she shamed everyone. 
My parents know what she's like, so we're all scolding her right now. She's not even listening to anything I'm trying to tell her, and she's just to me like, Oh, my poor brother and his struggles. She's ignoring what she's done. Oh, I see. Well, that's not great at all. She just thinks she can get away with anything and everything. Anyways, I'll go back home in a while. My head's spinning so much from the conversations going around and around in circles. I'm getting nowhere with this. If I stay at my parents' house, Freya's gonna think that I'm on her side of things when I'm not. Do you think that she's thinking about that? I don't know, Alex. Look, I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. I just want to rest and forget what happened today. I'm really sorry. I don't think I've been very helpful at all. No, it's okay. It's been a weird and frustrating day. Take care getting home. Oh, Stephanie, we need to talk. You're not going to believe what's just happened. I'm getting married. Oh, is that so? I guess that's good news. Congratulations on the proposal. You've got no choice but to come to my wedding, right? You're my brother's wife, of course, so there's no way you can refuse the invite. Well, I need to know the time and date of the ceremony first to make sure it doesn't clash with other things I'm doing. Even if you had plans on the day of my wedding, you would need to move them and prioritize my event. So, the decision has been made for you. You're coming to my wedding and that's final. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, right? Uh, Freya, when and what time is the wedding? How am I supposed to know where to go? Hey, Alex. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you. I'm on a business trip. Are you still at work right now? I'm just on my break right now, so it's okay to talk. What's going on? Did you hear the news? About Freya getting married? I can't believe she just messaged me that. I had absolutely no idea that she was seeing somebody. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you for real? No, I haven't heard anything. I've heard that she has a boyfriend that she wants to marry. But I haven't actually heard they're actually thinking about marriage. I just heard from her before. She messaged me and said she's getting married. Just out of the blue, really. Oh, really? She made the effort to message you about it? Yeah, weird, right? I was also asked to attend the wedding, so I asked when the wedding was going to be and what time, but she didn't tell me. Even if I were to have plans that day, she said that I needed to prioritize her wedding before anything else. After that conversation, I still know nothing more apart from that she's getting married. What the heck is going on with my sister? I know she's been acting up, but never this bad. I guess nothing has been decided yet? As to how she needs to be punished for what she's done to my family? No, not yet. I haven't received any announcements from her or anyone, so I haven't made a decision about her wedding at this point. Right, that's fair. What the heck are you going to do about this? Actually, I was thinking of talking to you about it when I get home today. My parents, they haven't talked to Freya since what's happened at your mother's funeral. Neither have I, for that matter. What? They haven't even approached her about what she did. I guess it's like the Cold War with everyone under the same roof. They won't forgive her unless she apologized to you about what she did at your mother's funeral. Oh, I see what you mean. <sighs> she literally has no remorse. I don't get how she turned out like this when the rest of your family is so sweet and kind. Yeah, it's a bit messed up for sure. Freya isn't showing any remorse towards what she did, so it seems that my father has something in mind for her. I was wondering if you could have a snoop around with what's going on. If that's alright with you. Yeah, of course. That's not a problem. I'll see what I can find out. Hey Stephanie, what the heck are you up to? You need to hurry up and get here right now. I gave you an order to prioritize my wedding even if you had other business to attend to. And my older brother and my parents haven't come yet either. <sighs> I never expected you to get involved in my business. You're such a terrible person. Huh? Freya, what are you talking about? Are you talking about your wedding ceremony? Is it happening already? Anyway, enough chit chat. Get over here so you can come and see my wedding. Um, I can't come. I'm still grieving the loss of my mother, and it's been about two months today since her funeral. And so what? You can grieve anytime you want. I wanted to hold the wedding on the day that him and I met. 
What's so wrong with that? No matter which way you look at it, my wedding should be the top priority. In fact, on such a wonderful day like this, it would be outrageous to hold a memorial for a bitter mother that you had. Okay, now hold up just a minute. You can't just talk to me like that. Plus, on top of that, this is the first time of hearing about your wedding being held today. Alex and your parents also say it's their first time hearing about this. But I posted it on Instagram. We're having the wedding at a cafe that my fiancé's friend runs. We don't even use Instagram, so how are we supposed to know? How do you not have Instagram? Everyone has some type of social media presence these days. Well, I guess that's not important right now. Just get over here so you can see me get married. Ugh, are you kidding me? I guess we just finished up over here, so I guess I'm available now. Hmm, maybe I can come. But I should probably change my clothes because what I'm in isn't the most appropriate. Oh my god, why are you stalling, Stephanie? If you went and changed your clothes, my wedding would be all over. Oh right, some of your extended family just got here. They even arrived before you did. Oh, they're at the ceremony already. Well, that's surprising. How many of them are there? There should be about 12 people. I guess there's quite a few people in your family, huh? So many of them are here. Okay, now you really need to get over here. I've invited you, so you have no choice but to show up. Huh? I wonder what all my family are doing there. Is it okay for that many people just to show up to your wedding if it's in such a small venue? It's a restaurant wedding, so it's a buffet style. There's plenty of food for everyone. The cafe is in the white building next to the south exit of Grand Central Station. Well, if that's the case, then shouldn't I get changed? Are you not reading my message properly or something? There's no need for you to get changed for family and the bride. Just come in what you're wearing. Just hurry up and get over here so you can celebrate my wedding with everyone else who's here. Uh, is this really a good idea? We are just coming from mourning my mother, so shouldn't I change my clothes? What did I just say to you, Stephanie? Just get over here so you can see me walk down the aisle. Okay, fine. I'll head over there now. You just wanted to ask the proper questions before making any moves. So please don't complain about what I'm going to show up in, okay? It's fine. Just get over here. You're seriously so slow. Why did you come to my wedding looking so chic and cool? Why would you attend a wedding in all black clothing? God, it's like morning clothes. And my parents and brother, what the heck are you all playing at? Mm, you're the one who said that there's no need for me to get changed for family and the bride. That I can just show up in anything I want. I didn't even know what you meant by that. Are you insane or something? You can't show up to a happy event like that. Then why didn't you tell me that I needed to get changed? I, I did say that I was still in mourning because of the death of my mother. Why didn't you pay attention to that? Y you can imagine what I would be wearing, right? I asked you repeatedly if I should get changed and you insisted that I come to your wedding dressed how I was. But I didn't know that you'd actually dress like you did. Well, there's no way you could have predicted that, I guess. Do you really think that holding a wedding on the same day as my mother's memorial was a good idea? I'm sure you knew when it was happening. I did, but I thought all of you would have chosen to come to my wedding over everything else. Well, if you think that, then I think that's a bit weird, to be honest, considering my mother just passed away. I mean, you're the kind of person who would show up to a funeral in a wedding dress, so it totally makes sense why you would think the world revolves around you. But I didn't think that you'd show up in that getup you had on. Ugh. You can't just turn this around on me. Freya, are you there? We need to talk. Immediately. It's important. Oh, um, hello, Alex. I, I guess we can talk. I just saw the messages that you were sending to my wife. Huh? What are you talking about? What messages? I didn't say anything remotely horrible to her. Oh, come on, Freya. Why are you acting like this? Can you seriously just cut the crap? Above any and everything else you've done? What you did to my wife Stephanie was just insulting. Do you even understand your actions at Mom's funeral? But I don't think it was that bad. I was so upset because in high school she took away my favorite teacher from me. Your favorite teacher? What are you even talking about, Freya? My PE teacher, Mr. Wright. You went to the same high school as me. You know what teacher I'm talking about, right? When I was in my first year of high school, I fell in love with him at first sight. 
I thought I told you this. But he didn't accept my advances, so I was depressed from being dumped. On top of that, I saw him with Stephanie outside of school, and it looked like they were getting up close and personal. He was being way too friendly with her just to be a teacher and student relationship. Are you kidding me with this high school crap again, Freya? She was definitely going out with him. I, I just know it. She has that type of pattern that screws me over. Mr. Wright is Stephanie's uncle. Do you not pay attention to what goes on around you, Freya? Are you for real? He's her uncle? If you want to be more specific about it, he's the younger brother of Stephanie's mother who just passed away. What? No way. Are you kidding me right now? When Stephanie was in high school, I heard that he was living with her and her mother. He's now currently living overseas, so that's why he had to come back to the States to attend the funeral for Stephanie's mom. I heard that he had no choice but to miss her memorial service because his wife, whom he just got married to, is about nine months pregnant. As for you, you made a complete mess of the funeral, Freya. Even though you were one of his students, he'll never forgive you and went back home. But this can't be. Mr. Wright is Stephanie's uncle, so her mother's brother... No way, that, that, that can't be right, can it? You've misunderstood everything from the beginning of this whole mess. I'm so embarrassed to have someone like you as a sister. But Alex, you can just say something like that. I'm still your little sister, right? You didn't even tell mom and dad about the wedding. How could you? But I put a post on Instagram about it. If I just did that, then it would be enough for people to see. Are you serious? Our parents, Stephanie, and I don't have Instagram, Freya. How do you not have Instagram when everything is online? Freya, even if we had accounts, we still wouldn't get the memo about all the details. I'm honestly too stunned to say anything. But Alex, I posted about it on my account! I don't know what else to tell you. You should have all accounts. Wow. There's literally no sign of remorse from you. Freya, it's like you've done nothing wrong. What? How have I done wrong? I don't get what you mean. I'm just going to give all of your responses to Dad, and he can deal with you about the things you've done. Huh? But why do you need to do that? I, I haven't done anything. Stephanie and I want nothing to do with you anymore. You've caused way too much pain and heartache to everyone involved in the situation. I hereby am cutting all contact with you. Don't even think about approaching me ever again. I don't understand. Why would you want to do that? It was just a wedding dress, though. It's not that big of a deal. Alex, you, you can't just do this to me. You're my brother. You can't just cut me out of your life. Blood is thicker than water, you know. Two weeks later, Freya called off her engagement to her man. Apparently, they were actually planning to register their marriage after the wedding took place. A fuss was made about people showing up in mourning clothes, and I didn't tell my relatives about not showing up like that. The fiancé started having doubts, so he talked to the relatives who were surrounding them. In the process, he discovered that the wedding dress Freya wore to my mother's funeral was the same one she wore on her wedding day. In fact, it was a one-of-a-kind dress that her fiancé picked out for her, and it was the deciding factor in calling off the engagement as she brought shame to the dress. At the same time, <laughs> it seems that Freya was sent to a nunnery in the mountains. <laughs> it was all part of her father's trick. He said that it'll keep her head on straight, and she'll do some training on how to behave. He said she would probably be there for the rest of her life. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hey, Linda. What do you think you're doing disappearing as soon as you see my mother? Just because you and her don't get along doesn't mean you can start a fight with her. I mean, we are on vacation abroad, aren't we? At least try to get along while we're here, please. Um, Loretto... Can you not guess why I disappeared as soon as I saw your mother with us? Why is that? Tell me, because I really don't get it. Because today is the first day of our honeymoon. I mean, isn't only the husband and wife supposed to go to the honeymoon? Why then is your mother with us in Guam when we're supposed to be having our honeymoon? Just the two of us. I mean, she was waiting for us at the airport here with a smile on her face. What were you even thinking, not telling me about this in the first place? Mom asked me not to tell you because she wanted it to be a surprise. I mean, 
It's obvious that I brought her because I want to be kind to my parents, isn't it? Huh? What do you mean you're being kind to your parents? Besides, won't it be more fun if my mom comes with us to our honeymoon? We can help her out together. Only good things will come out of this. <laughs> huh? What do you mean we can help her out together? I didn't come all the way out to Guam to entertain your mother or something. Besides, why did you just bring your mother? Uh, couldn't we have brought my parents as well? Huh? Why would you say that? I mean, my mom being here is going to make things awesome. But your parents are just going to spoil our fun on this honeymoon of ours, aren't they? Uh, it's the same logic, right? We can be kind to my parents as well. Do you think that bringing along your mom but not my mom is fair? I mean... It's going to be different for me if your mom comes instead of my mom, won't it? Come on, Linda. You're being a bit too selfish here, says my mom. Oh, so you're going to call me bringing my parents selfish, but what you're doing yourself isn't? Huh? What are you talking about, Linda? Of course it's not selfish. All I want is my mom to enjoy our honeymoon with us, but you seem to be opposed to that idea. Jesus Christ, it's like I'm talking to an AI. By the way, where's your mother going to stay anyways? She couldn't have just come to Guam without hotel reservations, right? Where is she going to stay? Oh, yeah. She's going to stay with us in the same room. What? Why did I expect you to say that? I mean, she's going to be so lonely if she's only in a different room, right? So this is why you wanted to do all the planning for our honeymoon yourself. Of course. I want to go sightseeing with my mom as well. Even if it is a resort hotel. I can't just let my mom wander around abroad. Jesus, I give up. I don't care anymore. Huh? What's your problem? You're making it seem like I did something wrong here. Are you really so selfish as to not want my mom to share in our fun? Yeah, yeah, whatever, fine. You go with your mom. I'll go sightseeing myself. What? Linda, uh, are you mad about something? Never mind, I think you do need to cool your head down a bit. I'll be checking in the hotel room with my mom. Once you calm down, let's meet up again, shall we? Linda, to think that you were the kind of mean wife that would tell her mother-in-law not to come with them on their honeymoon? Oh my god, I pity my son Loretto so much. He's better off being single than having a selfish and arrogant wife like you. Even if you were introduced to us by an acquaintance of my husband, we should have turned down the offer the moment we saw you. It seemed that Loretto liked you for some reason, so we had no choice but to accept the marriage, but I haven't accepted you as part of our family yet. As a penalty for being so rude, please don't come with us on our vacation. You're going to ruin our special time of just me and my son together. Ever since you two got married, you've been living with us in Loretto's house, and I've had to put up with a pest in our living space for three whole months. But now we're finally free of you, and we can enjoy ourselves. Apparently, my son Loretto is being kind enough to ask that you meet up with us later on. But if we just let you off with no punishment like that, I feel like we're going to have problems later on. It's going to make you even more arrogant, I think. This Guam vacation is not going to be your honeymoon anymore, but me and Loretto's family vacation. Don't show yourself to us no matter what. Where did you go last night? I told you to meet us after you had calmed down, right? I don't think you're the kind of person that would sleep outside, but mom says that she wants to go sightseeing already. So me and my mom are just going to head out. Just tell me when you feel like meeting up with us, all right? Hey, Linda, your head's probably cooled down already, right? I'll forget about everything you said about me and my mother. So would you just meet up with us already? We're going to be returning to the hotel now. But please, could we just stay together starting from tonight? Oh, and make sure you apologize to my mom and make up with her. 
It's really important that you do because you seem to have really hurt their feelings. Huh? What the hell are these texts you sent me? Oh, hey, Linda. Me and my mom have already returned to the hotel. <laughs> I don't know where exactly you are in Guam, but stop being so stubborn already and just come back. You're going to ruin our once-in-a-lifetime honeymoon. If apologizing to my mom sounds difficult, then I'll apologize with you, all right? So, are you going to come back? Um, Loretto, I'm not in Guam anymore. I've already returned to Japan. What? I got on a flight this morning and went home. Well, I felt that just going home from the airport was a bit boring, so I stopped by an onsen hotel and am enjoying these onsen by myself right now. I hadn't realized it until now, but ever since I moved in with you and your mom, who for some reason also lived in the new house that was meant for the two of us, I haven't had a single moment of peace and quiet. Oh, how I missed these moments. What? Who said you could just go back to Japan? Just stop doing as you please, will you? We're supposed to be on our honeymoon! I'm the one who's doing as I please? You're the one who brought your mom with us on our honeymoon without telling me anything! Not only that, but you wanted her to go sightseeing with us and even stay in the same room as us! That's not what a regular person would do, Loretto! I already told you. I did all of that so my mom would be happy! Yeah, but I'm telling you that that's not what you call a honeymoon. If you had at least asked me in advance, things might be different, but you knew that I would disagree, which is why you didn't tell me anything until we actually saw her at the airport in Guam. You thought that I wouldn't be able to refuse once you actually did it, didn't you? To be honest with you, yes. That's why I didn't tell you that my mom would be coming with us. But don't you feel bad about leaving my mom behind while the two of us go on a honeymoon? I mean, she wants to go to Guam as well, you know? Only the wife and the husband usually go to honeymoons. What do you mean, won't you feel bad leaving my mom behind? Your mom was never supposed to come with us in the first place. Besides, your father is still in Japan, right? Don't you feel bad for him as well? What? My father? Well, not really. I don't think he would have come even if I had asked him to. Mom, on the other hand, begged me to let her come with us. She wanted to go to Guam so badly, Linda. And you're just going to tell her not to come? Yes. It doesn't matter whether she wants to come with us or not, because it was our honeymoon, and only the two of us were supposed to go in the first place. Oh, and I thought that I should tell your father about what happened, so I did. He got mad when he found out that your mother came to our honeymoon. Seriously? Why did you have to go and tell Dad about this? He has the right to know, doesn't he? I mean, he's your parent, just like your mom is. Well, that's the situation, I guess. I'm not in Guam anymore. I went back to Japan. Enjoy your honeymoon with your mom, then. Huh? Um, it's not really a honeymoon if it's just me and my mother, though. Seriously? You love your mother so much that you don't even realize I'm making fun of you? What? I don't understand what's there to make fun of in the first place. You're the one who I should be making fun of for being so selfish as to not want my mom to share a honeymoon with us. Yeah, yeah, say whatever you want. There's something I want to talk to you about once you and your mom return home. I'll let you two decide when you return. Bye, then. What? Um, so, does this mean that you're letting me enjoy the rest of my vacation with my mother, right? <laughs> yes! This is the first steps towards you and my mom getting along better. Thank you, Linda. I knew that you were a good person at heart. Hey, Linda. What are these divorce papers you left behind? Hmm? Oh, so you came home? This was the day our honeymoon was supposed to end, by the way. Looks like you took it literally when I said, enjoy your honeymoon with your mom. <laughs> but you told me yourself that I could enjoy the rest of my vacation with mom. We had already bought the plane tickets, so I didn't really see a need to change them. Jesus. I want to tape signs on all sides of your body saying, beware, I have a mother complex. Huh? 
What's so bad about me loving my mother? It's not a mother complex. This is a completely healthy mother and son relationship. I'm not saying that loving your mother is bad. But I don't think you should prioritize what your mother wants over what I, your wife, wants all the time. Yeah, but my mom is now your mom as well now that we're married. What do you find so strange about the two of us taking care of our parents as husband and wife? I'm trying to tell you that your way of taking care of our parents is completely messed up. Anyways, the decision I made of divorcing you is not going to change. To be honest, it stings having to get divorced after only three months. Your mother... She kept telling me that I stole her son from her and so would always throw away my food and treat me like trash, hitting me with brooms and stuff. One time she even tried to throw away my last remembrance of my grandmother behind my back. Luckily, I was able to get it back from the dumpster, though. She's been abusing me every day for the past three months, and I am at my limit, both mentally and physically. Getting divorced is way better than having to watch the two of you fucking act like you're dating. I've never told you directly until now, but it makes me want to vomit. Huh? Hey, Linda, what kind of lies did you tell my husband? Oh, so now it's you, mother-in-law. Did you enjoy your honeymoon with your son who you love so much? There are more important things we need to talk about right now. My husband said that he was divorcing me and left the house. Well, I guess it's only natural for him to do so. Why? I mean, I was introduced to your son by someone your husband considers as his mentor, and that's how we got married in the first place. When I told him about how you've been abusing me these past three months, don't you think that it's only natural that he got mad at you? What? What do you mean you were introduced to us by my husband's mentor? That's what I heard, at least. By disrespecting me, you disrespected your husband's mentor, which obviously made your husband mad. Not only did you abuse me at home regularly, but you even plotted something with your son, or whatever, and suddenly appeared at our honeymoon destination. To be honest, I think your husband has made a completely fair decision. But there's no way I could have let my son go off without me with some random woman. What's so wrong about wanting to be with your own son? First of all, I'm not some random woman. I'm his wife, or at least was his wife. And second of all, your problem is not that you just want to be with your son, but that you want to be with your son a little bit too much. And no, I didn't lie to your husband about anything. All I did was tell him about how you've been abusing me these past three months. I just gave him the facts and showed him some evidence as to what you were doing to me. It's your husband, not me who came up with the idea of divorcing you. I'm not involved with this, so you should discuss it with him, not me. Linda, I order you to do something about this. Convince my husband not to divorce me or something. He'll probably listen to you. What makes you think you can give me orders? <laughs> I'm going to block you now, all right? I don't want to get divorced, Linda. Huh? I talked with Dad after we got home from Guam, and there's something I know now. The reason that I broke up with all my girlfriends who visited my parents' house in the past was because my mom was interfering. My dad saw this was happening, and so he talked to his mentor about it. His mentor was kind enough to introduce me to another woman. You. Ah, so that's why your father apologized to me. He didn't notice how the two of you got along so well because he was always so busy with work. He apologized to me for making me have to put up with his idiot of a son and his idiot of a wife. What? He called us idiots? Hey, Loretto, do you even realize what you've been doing these past three months? Huh? What are you talking about? When we first met, you called your mother mom, probably because deep down you knew that I would find the relationship between you and your mother strange. 
But ever since we got married and I moved in, you've been unconsciously calling her Mommy from time to time. What? Seriously? I'm not going to judge you on just how you call your mother, but in your case, you calling your mother Mommy is a sign of your extreme dependence on your mother, probably. If I'm being honest, I felt a little disgusted every time you called her that. Actually, I felt very disgusted. Disgusted? Yes. To be honest, you disgust me on a biological level, so I want to get divorced. I disgust you on a biological level? Why? What do you find so disgusting about me and my mother getting along? Oh, I get it. You were probably one of those people that weren't loved by their mother growing up. And that's why you're jealous at our relationship, aren't you? Jesus, Linda, you're so petty. And here I thought that you were starting to realize what you've been doing until now was wrong. Yep, you really are disgusting, Loretto. I don't know why I agreed to marry you in the first place. You disgust me so much that I never want to see you again. <laughs> But I was so happy, I was finally able to get married. You have to come back, Linda, or else who knows when I'll find someone else again. I, I cut ties with Mommy. Huh? Um, okay. That means you don't have to divorce me anymore, right? I'm going to move to your house right now, so tell me your address. This time for sure, we're going to act like a proper husband and wife. Let's just forget anything ever happened and start over. Uh, but I already turned in the divorce papers. What? Yeah, they were mailed to my house, and so I turned them into the city hall the same day. Uh, those divorce papers? The one you left on our table and I signed on the day we got back from Guam because I was so mad at you and just did everything mommy told me? Come on, Linda. That doesn't count, right? I wasn't thinking straight and my mom was pushing me on. Of course it counts. It has your signature and everything. You see, I've already told everyone, my friends and family, that we were going to get divorced. Even your dad's mentor who introduced me to you in the first place knows about it already. Besides, even if I hadn't turned them in yet, there's nothing you could do that would change my mind about the divorce. What do you mean there's nothing I can do to change your mind about the divorce? But I just got ties with mommy because of all of our problems. We don't have to worry about anything now. That's what you wanted, right? For my mom not to be around us? Sorry, Loretto. Even if you did somehow magically turn into a new person, I'm just not willing to take the risk anymore. Besides, I don't quite understand in what way you think this solves everything. I think that my feelings towards you, that of being disgusted on a biological level, will never change. Uh... I'm going to block you now. Goodbye. I predicted that my ex-husband Loretto would somehow try to contact me after that, so as soon as I blocked him, I went to the cell phone store and had my phone number changed. Of course, I also changed my WhatsApp ID. Luckily, my parents were planning on moving anyways, so I didn't need to worry about him locating me physically. Apparently, the precautions I took paid off, since according to some mutual acquaintances, he's been frantic trying to get a hold of my new contact information. During all of this... Loretto's parents also got divorced. As soon as this happened, Loretto's mother suddenly barged into Loretto's house and forcefully moved in with him, even though Loretto had already cut ties with her. Loretto's mother, Simona, was always unhealthily dependent on her son. And after she suddenly got divorced with her husband, she began spiraling into mental instability. It seems that she's still interfering with her son's relationships, making it difficult for him to get married. Apparently, Loretto was seen yesterday entering a clinic for the mentally ill by one of his acquaintances.